We're going to need an HTML form to work with. I'll go ahead and create that. Here's my form. We have a text box and a button. When I click on the button, we'll execute some code. I will enclose all of my code with an if statement. We will check to see if our login button is set. If it's interacted with. If set, we're accessing post. If our login button is interacted with, let's get the username from the text box and store that within a local variable. Then let's echo. Hello. Username. So I can type in a username. Press login, and we are pretending to log in. If you don't sanitize or validate your user input, somebody could write some malicious code, like a cross-site script or SQL injection. It would be best to prevent code like that from running. One way in which we can do that is to add a filter to sanitize any user input. Instead of assigning our username directly from our post variable, we are going to use a function, the filter input function. And there are three arguments. The first argument is input post, because we're using the post method. If we were using get, then this would be input get. The second argument is the name of the input, which in this case would be username. Then third is the type of filter. I'll put this on a new line because I'm running out of room. I would like to remove any special characters used in executing code. So there is a filter for that. It's filter sanitize special chars. If you ever need to filter all characters besides numbers, there is filter sanitize number int. That's another filter. Let's create a new text box for an age. Age, the name will be age. So again, let's create a new variable named age equals filter input input post because we're using post the name of the input is age then the type of filter filter sanitize number int let's create a new message you are variable age years old now maybe we need an email let's create a new text box for an email email the name will be email email equals again filter input the first argument is input post or input get if you're using get. The name of the attribute is email. The third argument is the type of filter. Filter sanitize email. Your email is variable email. So those are a few ways in which you can sanitize input. Now let's validate input. 
Using a validate filter, if our input doesn't pass a validation test, it returns an empty string. Sanitization will strip certain characters of user input. Validation, if it doesn't pass, it just returns an empty string. So now we have variable age. Age equals, we'll use filter input again. Input post, because we're using post. The name of the input we're filtering is age. Then the type of filter. Filter validate int. If our user input isn't a number, we will assign an empty string to age. It doesn't pass the validation test. So let's check that. Let's use an if statement. We can use the empty function. If our age is empty, that means a user didn't type in a valid number. Let's echo. That number wasn't valid. Else, if our age is not empty, that means they typed in a valid number. You are age years old. Using this filter, we can check to see if some input is only numbers. The next filter is to validate an email to see if it's in a correct format. Let's copy these two lines of code, paste them, variable email, input post, we are getting our email user input, filter validate email. If our email is empty, that email wasn't valid. Else, your email is our variable email. So those are a few filters you may be interested in. When accepting user input, it is a good idea to both sanitize and filter user input just in case a user types in some malicious script. You don't want any of that. Sanitize and validate your user input whenever possible.